Culture plays a role in the music we share, the art we enjoy, and it shapes the very fiber of who we are. Eastern Washington University is celebrating black culture with events centered around Afropolitanism. I took a deep dive into how the university brought that idea to life. The theme for the month is uh, Afropolitanism, expressing black joy. That's Angela Schwindemann. She came up with the theme for this year's Black History Month at the university. And now with Afropolitanism, it's more of Africans who have been scattered outside of Africa, but also have many national, transnational identities inside Africa and proud of who they are and are ready to uh, step forth and show who they are to the world and to do it through their art. She says they decided to celebrate those identities by hosting events that highlight music, food, and different cultures. I'm very proud of the fact that we're able to have these events. This week, the university welcomed local black artists on campus, like Amira Gaiman. Yeah, and I noticed you chose like specific colors for this. Did you want to like bring sort of warm kind of feel yes, to it? Yes, yeah. I did. Yeah. I did. Black fathers are often, um, it's like a stigma around it, like they're not present. And so when you look at this, I wanted it to you can see it, like he's a, he's a present father. Amira's artwork is inspired by what she's experienced in her life. All of my work represents the different stages of life that I've kind of gone through. Um, I am a melanated woman, and so this is what I see. This is what I want the world to see. Well, like she had the one called Sisterhood, but she just had like, she was feeling like lonely because it was COVID, she was away from her family. Um, so like I saw like her, like with sisters and stuff. And that seemed like, oh, that's kind of close, close to home. Huh, this looks really powerful. And you just really wonder, like, what's the message behind it? So, really do like that about the art. Food is another way of sharing one's culture. We, we oftentimes don't realize how food and uh, traditions connect us and bind us. You know, you'll remember your grandmother's recipes and things like that, but, but it, it is a way, of, it's a form of communication. That's why Eastern hosted a food diaspora event. We tried food from the diaspora last year for the first time and it was a big hit and people wanted to do it again. We have uh, black students from 20 different countries here at Eastern, so it became very apparent that we have a lot of Africans that are already here on campus and it felt like home to them. Overall, Angela has one message for the Spokane community. Whether it's through globalization today, people leaving Africa for many reasons to find opportunities other places, or if it was through, the, you know, by force in the past, and if we remember the experiences that um, others went through before us that laid the groundwork, and how we have a lot of pride in who we are. We've survived many things. We will continue to thrive. And the university will host events all the way through February 29th.